the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to the season of Advent 2020. Today we will be meditating upon the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 14 to 15. It says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. In the earlier part of this chapter, we see on how King Ahaz, to whom Isaiah prophesied to, was under attack, and Jerusalem was under attack. God's people were under attack. And at that time, God gave this crucial sign, not only for that time, but for all time to come. And that sign was the sign of a young woman giving birth to a child named Emmanuel. We see in the book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, wherein Angel Gabriel visits Mother Mary and announces how that child would be named Jesus. He would be named Emmanuel, which means God is with us. It is such an amazing thing that God loved us so much that he chose the human form to come and be with us. It is a thing of privilege to call on God whenever we are in trouble, whenever we feel we are lost. But there is nothing to worry because that sign that we should look forward to always in our times of distress is our Lord Jesus who is with us, who is Emmanuel. It's amazing how in verse 15 it says, He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. Now, a fun fact is that the curds that is spoken about over here and the honey. Honey isn't the honey that we know that, we come, that comes from bees. In Israel and the Middle Eastern part, honey is actually molasses from pomegranate. It's a fun fact. And uh, usually it's had when there is abundance. It's a sign of abundance in the land. So when Jesus comes into our households, when he comes into our homes and he comes to stay with us, he brings along with him abundance of life. We see also this prophecy being fulfilled, this thing of eating curds and honey and knowing evil and good. In the Gospel of Luke, wherein after Jesus came back from the temple, it says he grew in the spirit, in stature and in wisdom and he knew what is good and evil. So brothers and sisters, whenever we are lost in our lives, especially in the season of Advent as we go into preparing ourselves, let our main focus be Jesus our Lord. Let us with our penances, with our small fastings, our abstinence, always have our focus on Lord Jesus, who is always with us in our hearts. God bless you. We pray for joy in our hearts, hope in our Lord, love to forgive and peace upon the earth. We ask for the salvation of all our family members and friends. We pray your blessings on all people of this world. O child Jesus, fill our hearts with your love and peace.